Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we're here with Dante and the Dauntless Pack and Dante's injury has healed, thank goodness. Ah, can't have nice things for very long, can we now? Alright, um, hmm. It looks like our carcass has faded. I think I'm just gonna have Spitfire stay back with the pups. I like to address the territory issue, especially Prospect Peak. I think that's what we're going to do first. We'll see if we can find some food along the way as well. We've completed all the hunting things we can do right now. We hunted a buck mule deer last time. Now we're just waiting for the older elk and mule deer babies. The moose ones, I think, I don't know if they're identical or if they're about the same, but whatever the case may be, it, it, it's close enough that we've already hunted one and we may hunt another. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, we kind of have- hello, Wilbur. We kind of have the freedom to do what we wish now, and what I'd like to do is go throw some hands with Prospect Peak. There is a lot of Prospect Peak sent around here, so I suspect we may get jumped for this one. They have decided to steal this territory back. In fact, we don't need these rendezvous sites. But this is our territory, so we're not just gonna let them do that. They're, they're already reclaiming the top, that's enough. Uh, I, I, they can have the top back, but we're keeping this one. This is ours. You don't get to steal it. I might go see if they're still in our territory and chase them out if they are, because I don't want them hecking around. But at the least, it seems like they're not trying to jump us before we even have the chance to reclaim it. Who's this? Get out! Get out! You better run! Looks like it's all of the sisters. Well, they thought they could heck around and they have found out. We've reclaimed this territory. There's a little bit more that I want to reclaim, mostly just that one up there. But other than that, I think we're just going to try to find probably uh, another calf or fawn if we can and bring that back to the babies because I think that's going to be... Uh, hopefully enough food. We want to make sure that Spitfire gets enough to eat, too. Alright, we've made it back, and with a little bit of energy to spare. I stopped on the way down in this field here to hunt for one last elk to bring back to him, because I think they're getting kind of hungry, and I'd ideally we'll have some leftover for Spitfire, too, because I think she's also probably pretty hungry here. You can check that in a minute. But uh, we got the territory marked. We took that one back from Prospect Peak. I don't think it's too bad. There's a few down here that need marking and the ones at the top we don't really care about. Spitfire does need more food probably. Oh, and she's gonna get some. All right, well, I suppose that's fine. Did you get enough? No, you, you decided to wait for the puppies. Okay, she's being a bit more considerate of the puppies here, which is good because some of them are pretty hungry. In fact, we might actually want to run back. There was a mule deer fawn. I guess we could feed them some from Dante's food as well, because he did bring back a little extra. That'll probably be enough. How are, they, how are they doing? Are they totally demolishing it? Okay, maybe we will actually go back. I did see another mule deer mother over here. As long as Spitfire stays with them, we should be good. I just want to make sure she has enough food as well. But we'll do one last little hunt here so you can still find this mule deer mom and the baby and then uh, try to head back and rest for the night. All right, we're headed back for real this time with a mule deer fawn. Goodness, it's teeny. Oh, yeah, it is kind of sad. Granted, we're wolves, we need to eat, but this should provide enough food for the family, I think. Spitfire, did you want some of this too? She doesn't appear to have eaten the rest of this elk calf carcass, so hopefully she'll eat this one. Did you get any food? No? Alright, Achilles, you should probably go back in the grass here. I think all the puppies are at least good on food. Can, we go, can you go back in? We'll see if Spitfire eats now, but if if not, I think we'll just go ahead and rest for the night here. It's not a huge deal as long as she has something to eat in the morning, and I guess we can bring her hunting with us if we need to. Yeah, she doesn't seem like she's going to be too hungry. Oh, she might. Whoop. Okay, good. She is going to eat before bed. That works out. We will go ahead and get some rest, and... Catch up with a pack come morning. 
Ah, uh, there we go. It looks like she is finishing off some of the food, as are the pups. Let's make sure we play with them a little bit. I think they're getting... they're slowly growing as well. Athena's up to 17.4. She's still got some growing left to do, and oh my goodness. Wow, the, the bottom part of the territory there is not fantastic, not gonna lie. I do like this rendezvous site. It's very open, so for most places you can see if anything is coming. It's just mostly this hill where you can't. But I think once we've played with these guys... We'll probably take Spitfire with us. Yeah, she's still only at 74% food, and I don't know if the pups are all going to be able to fill up. We'll see. A lot of them have eaten some, but that is only a mule deer fawn, so I think we're going to send them back in the grass here. Yeah, because they've eaten it completely. All right, Spitfire, wait, let's go together. We have to mark the territory as well. Let's... Are you going to... Spitfire, hey, let's go get some food. Oh boy, and deal with Crevice Lake apparently, oh no. What's this about? Are they on the way? They're probably the reason the territory down here is so abysmal. Okay, well, we'll see what we can find along the way as far as food goes. We're just gonna kind of run along here, I think, and then double back, and hopefully Crevice Lake minds their business and stays in their own territory. They do have some along the bottom of ours, and so... I hope they'll be decent enough to remain where they belong. Oh boy, I'm just constantly surrounded by stranger wolf scents. And this one honestly doesn't seem good. This seems like there's probably stranger wolves nearby. We're probably gonna get into a fight with Crevice Lake, I'm guessing. Because this is coming from this direction and oh yes. All right. Let's see what these hackers are up to. Get out me territory, you jerks! Crevice Lake sure has been here. Where did they go down here? They crossed all the way through by the sound of it. It might be kind of an old trail, because this looks like it's headed down here. Uh, I'm guessing they cut through our territory to reinforce their own. Well, that would be why this entire part of the territory is, uh, is decaying, but I don't really want to take the time to go bother with them right now. As much as Dante hates the idea of having missed them crossing through his turf, he, he knows he has more important things to focus on right now. He's got to make sure we find food. We still haven't been able to hunt anything yet. All right, we found a mule deer fawn, so I think I'm going to actually send Spitfire back just so that she can keep an eye on the pups because the affinity is getting a little bit low. I think that should boost. Yeah, okay, that that helped. It's still not perfect, but it's, it's, it's better than it would be otherwise. So we're going to continue marking. We're just going to... Oh boy, who is this? Toad flag and the slip and slide pack. We hate the slip and slide pack. Why are they such jerks for no reasons? Growling at me in my own territory. Or I think the territory that I was going to take. Still, your dispersals, you should be leaving us alone. You wouldn't want to have to mess with pack wolves. But in any case, uh, we're going to continue on. See if we can find some food for ourselves. See if we can find some food to bring back. Because I'm going to guess that uh, Spitfire is going to end up being pretty hungry. Because she'll probably go back and feed the pups. So, yeah. Ideally, we'll find some additional food as well. All right. We have returned to the pack. Cerberus! Cerberus, why are you so far away again? Oh my goodness. Uh, we're bringing back an elk calf, though. I guess Dante himself is still pretty hungry, so we might take a brief sweep around here. Cerberus! Gosh! Go back! Go back to the rendezvous site, buddy! That's where the food is anyway. I don't know if these guys have been fed. It looks like a lot of them have. I'm actually going to leave this here. We'll just let them eat. I might bring Cerberus back because I don't think he is uh, about to return. No, he's just chilling. But no, we're not doing this. Go back and eat your dinner. Uh, we'll go see if we can find something for Dante to munch on, though. Spitfire's at 77, so that's not awful. It could be worse. But uh, we'll see if we can find... There's often, oftentimes the, the mothers hang out in this field here. So we'll see if we can find one of them here. And uh, see if we can get ourselves a bite to eat as well. Aha! 
Here is a mule deer fawn. That's gonna be just about right for us, I think. And we should be able to head back. Hopefully the pups will have eaten. Hopefully Spitfire will eat more of the food we brought back if she needs it. But I think for now we're gonna be good. So we'll head back, hang out with the pups a bit, and then I think we'll settle in for the night. Hmm. You know, I think Dante's a little on edge because we have not had an attack since we've gotten to the rendezvous site. I don't think he's exactly comfortable with that. The This kind of does come in ebbs and flows, it feels like. You'll have everything all at once and then nothing, but... Those periods of nothing. I don't know that he trusts them to last. Ah! Yeah, what was that I was just saying? Persephone, please go back. What was that I was just saying? There's a bear. Where is the bear? Is it coming from the one direction we don't have visibility? No, it's over here. That's not the bear. Oh, it is coming from over the hill. Okay, nope, goodness. Why am I still locked on to, I think that was a rabbit? Whatever. Oi, 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 oi! No, 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 no! Achilles, go back! Achilles, go back! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Oh my goodness! No! Get off of my pup! Get off! Get off! Achilles is running so far away! Hey! Get off! Get away from my pup! Get away from my pup! He's relentless! Oh my gosh! Get out! Get out! Oh my goodness, Achilles, where is Achilles? Is he still over here? He got lost, okay. Uh, he has run so far that he's gotten lost. Did he go? Okay, he went over here. Oh, buddy, don't scare me like that. You popped out of the grass at the worst possible time. Oh my goodness. And you jumped right back out. I guess he's going to go eat. All right, everybody, go get some food. Spitfire does not seem to want to settle down, and understandably, she got a minor jaw injury, but somehow that's all she got from this. Oh boy, yeah, it seems like Dante was right to not trust the, uh, the lull. <laughs> oh no. There's really no rest for the weary, is there? Oh my goodness, all right. Which hackers are these? You, Prospect Peak? You. Yep. Leave us the heck alone. I'm guessing you came, yeah, absolutely did. Came right from where, right from where the territory is fading. Well, I guess I know where we're going first. Gonna run this hacker out of our turf. No, you don't get to slow down. You get to go back home with some new bite marks in your leg. Yeah, get out. Go on, get out. Y'all have not learned your lesson at any point through this, have you? Oh, don't you run back towards my don't you run back towards my rendezvous site. Excuse you. Excuse you. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Get out. Get out. You leave. Don't you just stand there running in circles. No, get out. Get out, don't you taunt me. You're gonna leave this place. Either you leave now or you won't leave at all. Don't you run back, back towards my pups, excuse you. Oh my goodness, the only thing about this is Dante's speed is very low, but Spitfire's getting in on this too now. I've got half a mind to teach this pack a lesson because they just will not leave us alone. They just will not leave us alone. Yeah, you get, you get, I'll teach you to come mess around in my territory. I'll teach you to come heck around. Heck around and find out. You better go. Man, these wolves are very fortunate that Dante does not, uh, does not have more stamina than what he has, because if he did, uh, I think a lot more Prospect Peak Wolves would have met their fate, because half of the time, it's just straight up that he does not have the energy to spend running them down. You know, I suspect it's late enough in the season 
that the elk may have the elk may have returned to their herds and the mule deer may be up and running because I'm not bumping into any mothers so either I'm getting unlucky or it's going to be about time for us to do our next hunt so I think I'm going to actually call Spitfire over she is injured right now but I think it'd be a good idea to get our elk calf hunt out of the way and see the coral root herd is not far away I don't think so an elk calf isn't going to be too terribly difficult to hunt I, I think Dante definitely wants to be careful with, with her being hurt and all, but I don't think this is going to be a challenging enough hunt to be a problem. We'll have to see. Just going to go looking for some food, though, because she is pretty hungry. The pups are not all that hungry, but we're getting kind of hungry, too. Man, apparently this herd is farther off than I thought. There's Prospect Peak sent around here, too. I'm fed up enough to do this. I'm definitely fed up enough for this. I think Dante, if they're gonna cause him problems, he's gonna he's gonna push back. If this hunt happens in their territory, well, that's not his problem. They won't leave him alone, so why should he leave them alone? He's gonna he's gonna return fire. All right, we've got the coral root herd here. I hope I was right about the calves. Aha! Yep, indeed. Sure was. All right, let's see if we can herd these guys back into our territory. Oh, you really want to go again? 2M! Yeah, it's you again, is it? I think that's who we saw earlier. Oh yeah, you want to go? We'll go. I don't know how you healed up so quick, but you're not going to stay healed for very long. Oh, you think you're coming back? No, you're not. You are losing this fight by a long shot. Yeah, you better stay out. No. You don't want problems, don't start them. Because I'm going to finish them. Then whose fault's it going to be? Yeah, you better go. This is my hunt. Alright. Where did the elk herd go now that you've scared them? They seem to have run this way. I'm going to chase them back into our territory just for the, just for the heck of it. Because, uh, no, Prospect Peak does not get to have an elk herd on their territory. <laughs> you want to be petty. Let's talk about petty. We do have to be a little bit quick about this, though, because uh, the, the 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 affinity is gonna start to go down. We definitely do have elk calves here. All right, yeah. Well, we'll we'll see if we find one that's a little bit a little bit weaker because the mother was right there. Oh, you've fallen down. Not interested in hunting an adult elk today, though. I want to get some practice chasing down. Okay. Well, maybe we will just go back for this one. Darn it! They popped right out the other side of our territory. Oh. Are you going to get stuck? No, sadly not. All right, let's see if we can get another bite. These guys do go down fairly quickly. We just got to watch because if it stops, the mothers are right on our tail. Spitfire should be coming toward us here. All right, oh, you think you're going to turn around? Yeah, the mother's right on our tail here, but not going to, not going to, not going to help. Dante just needs the stamina back. These guys are pretty easy, but again, it's something that I'm not sure is totally worth it. I, I definitely have a feeling... Well, no, maybe I won't say that yet, because he could end up favoring moose calves, honestly. Uh, mule deer fawns are still going to be very fast, and that's going to be a bit of an inconvenience for him, perhaps. So we'll have to see, but we got to try hunting a mule deer fawn before all is said and done here. All right, there's the mother. Woo, goodness. All right, I'm going to run back that way. The calf's lagging behind again, so that works out for us. As long as the mother doesn't run back too soon here, we should have the chance to run in, get a bite or two. Yep, she's not going to turn around fast enough. And there we go. We'll get a bite to eat, but we mostly want to let Spitfire eat this, I think. She is not that far off. And, uh, yeah, um, Prospect Peak wants to give us trouble. We'll give him trouble back. Prospect Peak scent post is here. I'm not really interested in claiming this territory, but they can go have to deal with their own territory for a while instead of bothering mine. That said, we are going to head back because the affinity is fairly low at this present time. Oh, the elk herd has gone right through here. This is, must have been where they ran by. Now, the problem with those young elk calves is they just... They're a very small mule that you can't move. 
so they're kind of less than ideal. I'm hoping we'll bump into a mule deer on the way back, but we'll have to be quick about it because the affinity's fairly low. But it will probably be all right. I mean, we'll make it back in time, I think. But uh, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of time to f waste fooling around with hunting. Oh yeah, we are definitely not going to have time to waste with trying to... Okay, elk herd, that's right by our, uh, our, our territory, apparently. Uh, we're definitely not going to have time to waste with fooling around with this, though. I think we might... The pups are hungry. We might be able to feed them just with the food that we have on us and then just have to really hunt tomorrow. I think that might be what's best right now because we're getting a little bit tired and I don't want to mess around with Dante of all wolves trying to hunt with low stamina. You know what? Hair's perfect. We'll feed this to the pups. We'll take another snooze here, make sure they've got enough to eat, and we'll deal with, uh, we'll deal with more food in the morning. All right, a new day is upon us again. Athena's up to 19.6. She is our smallest pup, so I think she's gonna be pretty close, but we're gonna have to go deal with our darn territory again. All right. I think I'm gonna leave all the pups in the grass for now. We'll leave Spitfire with them, I think, starting off. We'll see if we can find her some food. Maybe we'll come down here, try to get some food, bring it back. See if we can find any food to bring back. And uh, once we've marked this, then we'll head back up on our main marking trip. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's call Spitfire with us because this is going to be a really short trip just down to this one, hopefully. And then the longer trip, we'll send Dante by himself. I think that makes sense. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I've found something of interest here, too. We have at least one mule deer fawn, possibly more. I think only the one. I can't tell if that other doe has a fun, but let's see how this goes. I'm not sure if Dante's gonna really like it. Oh, mother caught up to him. The health does drop insanely fast, though. Yeah, that might not be too bad. These guys are viable, I think. I think these guys are viable even for Dante. If the mother will get off his tail, though, because that's something that's gonna be a hard... Uh, problem. Ouch, got kicked a little bit. Oh, come on. You're so close to down. There we go. All right, we'll give this to Spitfire. Make sure she gets enough to eat. Oh, here you are. Do you want to eat this and go back to the pups? It's a little bit of a bigger fawn now, so it should give some more food. And I think that'll be fine. That we don't have to worry about the pups being too, um too hungry because she'll probably feed him and then we can bring back an additional food as long as we find a few things for Dante to eat. Maybe we'll try to find another mule deer fawn and then, okay, if you are good on food, yeah, she's up to 106. She's good on food, then we'll send her back and we'll just do a quick sweep around the territory and do some marking. Oh, there's another mule deer with a fawn here. This might make a good snack for Dante. Where'd you go? Up here? Just now. All right. Round two. The the fawns are not as fast, so Dante doesn't mind them quite as much as she. She's not. Oh, now she's paying more attention. She's not paying enough for a minute there. All right. If you outpace your fawn, although the mule deer can be a little bit better about hanging back, I've noticed. Yeah, she's trying to hang back. Nice sneak a bite. Yes, because she got a little confused. All right. Another bite here, probably. Oh, she's run on ahead. Yep, that'll be enough, I think. There we go. All right. This will be a good snack for Dante. And then I did notice a moose calf, or well, maybe not a moose calf, but at least a moose central in the direction that we're going that we can investigate because if it's a uh, goodness, man, Dante's been hungry. But if we find, um, if we can find this moose and it has a calf, here's the trail then we might be able to mark some of the territory and bring back a moose calf for the puppies just to make sure they've got a little extra food before uh, heading back to finish off. Oh my goodness, there's another mule deer baby! We just can't stop tripping over these guys! I'm trying to track down this moose which does have a calf, I see now. Goodness, alright, well, I guess why not? May as well. Might as well, until the mother catches on. She's not yet. She's probably gonna in a second here. And we'll go back for that moose. 
Because that's going to be good to bring back to the pups. And this way, everybody can be full on food. All right, Dante, I need you to regain some stamina so that we can actually bite here. All right, if I get a bite, are you going to turn around and immediately come after me? No, actually. We got a good bite there. And the fawn has slowed down significantly. Oh, now she goes after us. All right, well, we're not to be deterred. Dante is not... Stop it. Nope, this is, this is my lunch. I'm sorry. Uh, it is the way of things. I'm going to eat this baby. There's no getting around it. All right, get another bite. Goodness, I keep thinking this is gonna be the last bite and then it's just not, I think it's because his stamina is so low. Come on, there we go. All right, we got kicked for it. Dante's kind of thrown caution to the wind for once in his life. He's a little bit impatient at the moment. Now all we gotta do is follow this trail back and there should be a moose calf and we can mark a little bit of this territory and then come back up and circle around. It's honestly probably not the end of the world. We don't get all of it marked, but I'd like to get as much of it as we can because reasonably the pack's still gonna be hanging out here for a little bit. They're not just gonna immediately leave. Okay, where in the heck is this trail? I have to follow it backwards. Um, reasonably, their story doesn't necessarily end just because the game does. So we want to make sure that we're, we're planning accordingly, that they are uh, still making preparations because, you know, it's just part of their story. We're not going to see. It doesn't mean it didn't happen. Where in the heck did this trail go? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Here we go. Here's our moose calf. And this should scare it into running. All right. We just got to make sure the mother doesn't get too close. It's good to get her hunting out of the way before our energy level gets too low. All right, whoop, you're very close. It's a little bit dangerous, a little bit risky here. Oh, you're gonna run out ahead. That works for me. Whoop, all right. Just gotta make sure she's not catching up too quickly. Ideally, she'll outpace us again. Ouch, good gosh. I got stuck for a half a second and that was like 170 damage. All right, so the back legs are just as dangerous as the front ones. That's a bad lesson learned. I think Dante might prefer the mule deer after all. Well, at least when they kick you, it's not like that. Oh, you got a little bit stuck, huh? Well, that's not great for you. We're gonna have to lure her away from here. Come here. Yeah, you're mad. I know you're mad. You can chase me. Yep, just clear out. I'm bringing, bringing this back to my babies. Is she gonna chase me again? Nope, all right. I think we're good. We'll take a brief stop back. I still wanna run up here and do some more territory marking. Goodness, we took more damage. I guess that was three hunts. We took more damage than I was hoping and it's no small part thanks to that huge blow at the end there. All right, we have made it back. We're gonna bring this moose calf, but honestly, I'm not sure Dante wants to run all the way back out there today. It's going to take so much of his energy just getting there and back again. It's already pretty low. Prospect Peak's definitely going to take that one. Like, I think they already have. It's on 0%. But I think it'll be all right. We'll have to fight him for it. Which Dante certainly doesn't relish the thought, but he's also pretty low on health right now to go out and do something new. So I think we're just gonna take a breather, rest up, get some sleep, and then the Dauntless Pack can handle this in the morning. The good news is the pups are all gonna be pretty full on food. Uh, it looks like Spitfire is at least at 74, which is not terrible. That's doable. That's enough to get through it till morning. That's, and the affinity is also not ideal. So it's probably better if we spend some more time with the pack for a bit. We'll let these guys finish eating and then we'll rest the night. Oh, well then. It would seem our quest has come to an end, at least the part of it that's visible. Okay. I knew we were close. I weren't sure if we are going to hit it overnight or not, but it seems like we have. Prospect Peak, I think, is going to continue to cause trouble for the Dauntless Pack over the months to come, but they've made it this far. They can make it yet a little further still.
And with that, that's going to bring to a close the first season of the Story of the Dauntless pack. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back with more Dante at some point in the future and hopefully more challenge pack as well. After all, we did say he's probably bouncing back and forth between hanging out with this pack and hanging out with them. So it'll be interesting to see what that part of the adventure entails. I'm sure at some point in the future we'll get to find out. That said, if you really love Dante, then definitely make sure to keep an eye out here on the channel and on my Kofi because we're going to be releasing a sticker for him in the near future. There's already several stickers available and there's another batch that will be coming out in the near term future here. One of those wolves included in that pack is going to be Dante himself. So if you want to get a sticker of our grumpy wet blanket lad, then definitely check that out. It also helps support the channel, which means that I get to keep doing this and making these videos, which is something that I always enjoy. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll leave this off here for now. We'll take a look at his pups grown up in another episode, but uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and until then, this is Jay, over and out.